Namaskar. Welcome to the another video of our course. In our previous video, we have discussed how to insert form data into MySQL. And in this video, we are going to discuss how to retrieve form data. How to retrieve data from MySQL using PHP. So as you all know to run our code first we need to type the local host then the folder name or file name so this is our previous work so we have designed this form and here in this add student using this add student form we can submit our form data into mysql database so let's say we have enter the role number two then this name is Vidur Chetri and semester is second and department is computer science and whenever we press the submit button this all form data will enter into our MySQL table so we have done this practical in in our previous class and whenever we press the submit button our data will store in this database student and this site this is student database we have a table called student info so we have recently entered this with data that is Vidur Shetri roll number two so whenever we press whenever we fill this form and when we press the submit button our data will store on this database so here in this video we are going to see how to retrieve data from database and how to display those data in table so here we have uh, another button that is view student and here this is our web page and using this web page we are going to fetch the data of our database so here we need to enter the role number and when we press this search button the data will display in this web page in the form of table so we have another data that is roll number is 2 and we have pressed then our data will soon in this table so we are going to see how to write the code for this interface so here so we have subline text which is the text editor that I'm going to use to write our code and this is our select.php page so here in this PHP page so this is our code for this interface so this interface so this is the code for our this interface and here we have simply designed a form and we have a given action attribute and we have linked this select.php page so this is here we are linking to this same page and the method that we use is post and here inside this form we have two input type first one is text and here the name is roll number and another input type that is submit button and the name of this submit button is search and Whenever we press this search button, our control goes to this select.php page. So here in this select.php page, we need to write our PHP script for data retriever. So this is our select page and here we have written our PHP script for data retrieval. So the whenever we want to retrieve the data from database first we need to include this connection file so this connection file is the file which is used to connect to our database using a server name password and database name so the server name is localhost and username is root and password is null because we haven't set our pass password till now and the database name is student and here we are performing the connection connections to our database and here in select student after establishing the connection and here in this code we are checking whether we have pressed the search button or not 
so this is our search button so whenever we press this search button then our control goes to this if statement and inside this is if statement using this role number variable we are fetching the input data that is role number so we are fetching this role number data so whenever we press this submit button our control goes to this if statement and inside this if statement we are fetching the input type role number whatever data we have entered into the role number it will store on our variable role number and here in this sql variable we are performing the select query so here we are performing select asterisk means everything from student info table where role number equals to role number so whatever role number we have received from the form that that we are going to use to retrieve the data from our table and here we are checking whether our query is successful or not so again if our queries has more than one zero result then we are displaying this information in the form of table so here we are using this echo statement and this html tag to create our table and using this row fetch associated whatever the value we have in our table are display using this table attribute so this is how we can fetch and display our data in web page using php i have I have um, given the link of this github link of this code in in the description section you can download the code from the github and use in your program thank you for watching in next video we are going to see how to upload image in mysql database